Hi, I'm Jeff Essel. I'm a solutions architect here at Elastic. Today, in just a few short minutes, I'm going to show you how you can start collecting logs from your custom application and have them streaming into Elastic with just a few clicks. So let's get started. So here I am at the Kibana homepage, and you'll see in the middle we have this button, Add Integrations. So just click that and get started. Now we have hundreds of integrations right now for all types of data sources and everything from you know, Amazon Web Services to auto logs and everything else. We also have, of course, our cloud security because while you're observing, why not protect? But today, again, we're just gonna use uh, logs from a custom application. So there's not a pre-built parser for it. So I'm gonna do custom logs and it's right here in the middle, collect logs from with Elastic Agent. Go in here, click on add custom logs. And because this is a brand new deployment, I haven't done anything with it and I don't have any agents or policies set up, we have a nice little walkthrough. So the first thing it's telling me I need to do is install Elastic Agent. So Elastic Agent is our unified agent that allows us to install the agent once. And once installed, we can then remotely manage, be it one host or thousands. From the central location, we can attach policies where we can have uh, different log sources or different metrics collected, do rolling upgrades and things like that. So as you see, the first step is to install the agent. Now, depending on your operating system, or even if you're running Kubernetes, click on the correct one. So I have a Linux VM running in GCP. So I'm going to click on copy, go over to my cloud shell, and I'm just going to paste in these commands straight as they came in. So what it's going to do right now is I'm downloading the agent. It's going to take you know a minute or so, not even. It's going to decompress the log, and then it's going to um, start the application, the agent, as well as enroll it in our central location in Kibana. So yes, I do want to install it as a service so that it automatically runs. And in you know what was it, less than a minute, it's already up and running. So if I go back to Kibana, you can now see that hey, that one agent has been enrolled. So the agent is now running on the host and communicating back with the Elastic Stack. But we need to tell what we want to collect. So I'm going to click on Add the Integration. And again, it's a custom log, so I have to tell agent where this log file exists. So if I go back through my history, I have I have a little custom app. It's just a random log generator running, and it's logging out to this 18 production log. So the application's running, but I you know I don't want to go on the host normally and look at the logs. Let's grab that and uh, send them to Elastic. So I'm going to paste in the the log path. There's other settings you can configure, but we're going to leave everything as default right now because I'm really just concerned with getting the data in and we'll, we'll deal with it. So confirm incoming data. You'll see it says saving policy. So what's happening now, all in the background, all automatically, is Kibana and Elastic are pushing that configuration change down to the agent on the host. It's updating its policy and setting up where it needs to collect data from. And in you know, a few minutes or so, probably less. Oh, look at that. We're already collecting logs. So as a preview of the incoming data, and you know, let's go to view the in view assets, and it's just a log file. So if you use one of our other integrations for you know firewall logs or, or whatever that some of those have dashboards that you can see in this view. But here it just says it's a log. Let's go view the logs app. And when I take a look at this, you know, we have our timestamp, and this is the timestamp from when it was collected. And you know, interestingly, I see some errors in here. But these errors are not related to collecting logs. What it's telling me is that my random log app has a command that's not found. I guess I should have tested my random shell app. But what this allowed me to do within just a few minutes was even though my application was running, I wasn't aware there was a, an error going on. But now I can see that, oh, I need to go back on my host and install this BC command. So I'm going to go take care of that. But I hope this was helpful. And if you want some more in-depth information, you can watch some of our other videos or reach out to us and we'll be happy to talk to you more. So have a great day. Bye. Oh, and remember, you can always go to cloud.elastic.co and sign up for a free trial. Just click on sign up, enter your information, or sign in with your Google or Microsoft account, and you can try it for free for two weeks. Bye.